All right, first things first, just match up with my stroke rate. Now the warm up here is intended to get some blood flow going. It's in intended to get your lungs breathing. Help your body just get prepped. Just, you're, you're sending the message to your body. Hey, body, listen, work out today. Your body's like, oh, uh, uh, stretching, yawning. This is what this is for. Make sure that you don't shock yourself with a workout. Keep matching my stroke rate, because what happens if you shock yourself with a workout, well, you spend the first quarter of that workout not being as productive as you could be. Instead, your body's just trying to wake up. So that's our goal. Just get you woken up, get you ready to go, and keep you nice, tight, and concise. I'm not here to keep you forever. I just want you to enjoy this workout with me. So that's a minute in. Let's go ahead and take the intensity up for five strokes. I'm just gonna push the pressure a little bit. So on my machine, you're gonna hear the flywheel get a little louder. Whatever machine you have, just try to make it louder. Stroke rate will stay the same. You just push harder through your feet. Five strokes on this one. One. Two, three, four, using those legs, five, good, and back it off. Take some big deep breaths, cycle that oxygen out, fresh oxygen coming in. That is the good stuff, that's the stuff you care about, bring in the good oxygen, Push out the used. So now backing it down again. Notice the rates stayed the same, that's a big one. Rates don't need to vary all over the place. And I'll let you in on a little secret. If you wanna go faster, I don't know why I'm still whispering. If you wanna go faster on the machine, don't take the rate up when you're new to the machine. Instead, focus on using your legs to push more effort into each stroke. Think about bearing down poo, and pushing into that machine. Try to be strong. Once you learn how to be strong on the machine, then stroke rate will help you. But if you try to take stroke rate too high early on, you end up spinning your wheels. Like Fred Flintstone, when they start the little running car, their feet just go nowhere. I think that's the reference I'm looking for. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. Okay, we're gonna take a 10 stroke build here. Same thing, rate's gonna stay the same, but we're gonna increase the pressure by 10 strokes. In two, that's one. And two, here we go, turn it up for 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, four more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Back it off. Let's just take five more strokes to cool down. Two, three, two more strokes, and then we'll brief the workout. Four, and five. So strap into your machine, sit ready, and three. Two, one, go. Oh, here we go. 20 minutes between us and the finish line. Now, for this first two minutes, we're gonna hang out at a stroke rate 20. Now the goal here, first and foremost, is you learn what is a stroke rate 20, Shane? Well, I'm here to show you and help you learn. Now, stroke rate can be pretty tough to learn early on because what you're doing is setting a rhythm. If you've ever played music before, that's rhythm. Your ability to hold a beat. If you can dance, you can keep a rhythm. If you can't dance, it's okay, we can teach you rhythm. So you jumping in with me, you're gonna be able to feel what's a stroke rate 20. I'm on it right now. I haven't budged from it for you. A couple of things to pay attention to as we cruise at this 20 for two minutes. Look at 
the way that you push and accelerate through the drive. And notice that we want our recovery, which is the move forward, we want that to be slower than the drive, which is the push that way. In the drive we work, in the recovery we recover. Self-explanatory. So move through the drive with force and then move through the recovery with relaxation. It's like a light switch every single stroke. Turn it on, turn it off. Turn it on, turn it off. And what you're doing is creating ratio. Ratio is what helps you really get good at rowing. And it's because you put in the effort where it matters and you learn to chill out otherwise. Okay, so we're gonna add in our first drill at this 18 minute mark. It's gonna be arms and body only in two strokes. That's one. That's two arms and body. So keep the entire foot pressed down into your foot stretcher. That's the, the foot plate, the thing your feet are attached to. Keep your whole foot attached. Notice I don't even have my straps tight right now. That's intentional. I want you to see that you don't need foot straps to be effective or forceful on the machine. Right now what we're practicing, arms and body only, is how do you push the arms away, close the hips, and then how do you swing the hips and snap the arms, but each doing their own piece of work, meaning it's not all blended together. Each one has its own specific purpose, so we give it its each, we give each its own moment in time. Now we're gonna go right back to regular rowing at this 17 minute mark, that's two strokes, that's one and two, regular rowing, here we go. This time we're gonna be at a 22. I'm at a 21, I'm gonna bring it up for you here. There we go, 22. So right now I'm just cruising at a 159. And you may be thinking, because I've seen this question a whole bunch lately in the comments. I rode, it came up with the 22 minute 5K a lot. So I rode that 5K with you, Shane, at the same stroke rate. Why didn't I finish at the same time? And that's an excellent question. It's exactly what I was mentioning in the warm up. We are putting in different, amount, different amounts of effort every stroke. And that's the difference. It's because at a 22 stroke rate, right now my split, my per 500 meter split is a 159, 158, 159, something like that. You might be at a 230, you might be at a three minute, but we're holding the same stroke rate. And that goes to further my point of stroke rate doesn't, show, doesn't create speed. Your ability to connect and push force through the legs and into the machine does. And that's highly critical. Get comfortable pushing hard into the machine. If you're not there yet, keep up with these workouts. Repeat this one with me time and time again until it clicks. You should be able to make yourself work hard even at these low rates. Okay, now we're gonna go to legs and body in two strokes. That's gonna be no arms. That's one, and two, legs and hips. Woo, this one's tough without straps. So the focus here, drive through those legs, get the hips open, just like with the arms and body, work them at different times. Give yourself a nice long leg push and then a hip swing. Figure out how to make those two things act independently, okay? Not at the same time, not with the hips opening first, the legs push first and then the hips swing. The arms stay straight because I'm depending on my legs and my hips here. 
and two. We're going back to the full stroke. That's one. And two. Full stroke. Here we go. So now think exactly what you just did in that drill and implement it into your stroke. Here we go. We're back at a 20. In case you were wondering. So we went 20, 22. We're back at 20. There's a big key here as you settle in to stroke rate. Let your brain connect to your body. Learn. Learn how to move your body through space and time. Become the master of your own body. It goes a long ways. Not only will you get better at rowing, not only will you burn more calories, but as well, you'll start to gain mastery over your day-to-day -day life. Being a dark horse does not just mean a literal black horse. <laughs> Being a dark horse means that you own every part of your life and that if you want to make progress, if you want to make change, that it falls on you to do it and you put in the work. That's what's happening here inside of these workouts. You're choosing to be here. You're choosing to do the work. And that's amazing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and throw in the next drill. It's gonna be arms only in two. That's one. That's two. Here we go, arms only. You're like, wait, you just took away everything that was giving me power. And now all I get to do is use my arms. Yes! That's 100% correct. <laughs> so, as you move now, because we're isolating the arms, you should be finding a rhythm. Just this simple straight in, straight out. Make sure you're drawing your elbow.